From Studio 2 in Bozorth Hall at Rowan University, the Rowan Television Network presents RTN Tonight. I'm Anthony DeFino, and here's your host, Taylor Forte. How you doing? How's it going? All right. Hello and welcome to RTN Tonight. I'm Taylor Forte, and I will be your tour guide through the insanity that is the world lately. Cleveland Cavaliers shooting guard J.R. Smith recently made headlines after being suspended for one game for conduct detrimental to the team. ESP later revealed that the detrimental conduct was throwing soup at one of the Cavs' assistant coaches, Damon Jones. Of course, everyone was asking the important question, what kind of soup was it? Smith eventually claimed to not even remember what kind of soup it was. One thing is for sure, throwing soup at your coach takes some big matzo balls. Following the last week's unseasonably cold weather in southeastern London, thousands of dead starfish washed up on the shores of British beaches. The event is being referred to as Starfish Armageddon, which also makes a fantastic name for a punk rock band. It is important to note that while this is certainly a strange phenomenon, it's not the most unfortunate thing to wash up on a beach in recent memory. I'm sorry, Chris. Dick's Sporting Goods has announced that they will no longer be selling guns to customers under the age of 21. And of course, this has been met with a ton of backlash. Honestly, I can't blame people for getting angry. I'm pretty mad too that a store that sells 45 different kinds of scooters can do a better job at governing than the actual government. Anyway, this has been the biggest story involving dicks and guns since Dick Cheney decided to go hunting. That joke could have taken a very different path. <laughs> Speaking of dicks and guns, the NRA has been in the headlines quite a bit lately and all the publicity has gone to spoke, spokesperson Dana Lash's head. In response to Jimmy Kimmel's Oscar joke about making films to, quote, upset Mike Pence, she tweeted back, quote, from a guy that got his start being a horn dog second banana. Oddly enough, Lash seems to have forgotten how she got her start, casting spells over her cauldron and yelling at babies. Not to mention, she's only relevant right now because she argued with high schoolers about why their friends are dead. Good one, Lash. Classy. On that note, there are a lot of things happening lately that are causing America's most paranoid to aggressively defend the Second Amendment. Look, whether or not you think that decisions made over 200 years ago should still apply today, no one is trying to nullify the Second Amendment. Yes, amendment literally means change, but there are way more amendments that need to change first. Let's start from the beginning. The First Amendment guarantees the right of free speech. But consider this. If we added a mandatory psychological evaluation before someone can invoke the First Amendment, we could avoid this. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap! Never change, Alex. Next up, the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, except as punishment for a crime. Do we really need that last part? Should we force kids into slavery for ding-dong ditching? Anthony actually had to serve time for that, I think, correct? This is my community service for that. You're not gonna stay for much longer, buddy. <laughs> now, we go to the 18th Amendment, which prohibits the making or selling of alcohol. Now, my proposed change with this one is... Oh, wait, it's already been changed. <laughs> oh, I guess you can repeal amendments. <laughs> Interesting. Am I gonna end the monologue on that one? You bet I am. We got a great show coming up, so without further ado, I'm Killer Forte, that's Anthony DeFino. This is our team tonight, and we'll be right back with Sean and Tom, who are behind RTN's 11th annual telephone. So stick around, we'll be right back. Welcome back to RTN Tonight. We're joined tonight by Sean and Tom from RTN's 11th Annual Telethon. So let's give them a warm welcome. Come up here, guys. Hello. Hey. 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 Nice to see you. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing, handsome? Hello. Handsome. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right, so how you guys doing? Uh, what a great day. Oh, what, a, what a great night I is know. what you mean. Yeah. yeah, great. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, the telephone and what you guys are doing. Sean, so I'll around. start off. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to be directing for the telephone, directing a whole studio uh, for all of its operations, making sure everything goes smooth. Okay. Um, I'm going to be calling all the commands, the one calling all the camera shots. So 
if you look on there on the night of and, and you're gonna think, man, I want, who is that macho man taking all the all the camera shots? So you're shots? the boss man. I'm the boss you're man. Saying? You're in charge I'm of the, everything. I'm the boss man. I was the boss baby, but now I'm the boss man. Okay, I'm, wow. glad, I'm glad you grew up. What about, what about You low-key made two wrestling references with Macho Man and but, Big oh, Boss no. Man. But, uh, so I, I'm hosting, this is going to be my third year hosting, uh, so 9th, 10th, and 11th uh, annual telethon. I, it's great stuff, uh, great event, uh, raising money for charity, of course, is the overarching the theme of it. Yeah. So uh, this year we have the PSPCA, so that's very yeah. good So you charity. said you're the host. That's right. That's weird, because nobody came to me. About hosting, it, you, you know, um, what I'm, happened with that? I show. like may or may not okay. have gotten into like uh, an email server to make sure you didn't get that. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's like, weird. We actively yeah. took steps to stop you. All right, yeah. Yeah, is there a co-host option? Uh, yeah, that's already uh, yeah, Anthony. Sorry. Don't do this. Don't do this. We have our own show. Let them have the telephone. Well, I wouldn't be a slave over there. <laughs> Is that true, guys? I don't know about that. Well, we, 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 have fair, we treat all of it's our talent. It's a democratic talent. show. Yes, we are a democratic telephone. We treat all of our talent equally. Good. Under Good. the law. We do too here. Um, <laughs> so uh, you said you guys were raising money for the, what is it, the SPCA or ASPCA? The PSPCA. P so I was totally yeah. off. Okay. So who, what, what is that? Tell us a little bit about that. Is the um, Pennsylvania Society for the Protection of Animals. So puppies and stuff? Yes. Yeah, so puppies oh, nice. and stuff. And the reason, obviously, we're in New Jersey, but we are so close in proximity to their Philadelphia location, so it was very easy to partner with them. Cool. Yeah, it was fun. Are you going to have, like, puppies there the night of? Because that would be, like, I, I would show up. Well, yeah, so oh, I, we, we do plan on that. And I think one of the best parts about that, and I really hope we could do this, the whole thing. Um, so Lenny Schneim, I don't know if you heard of him. Probably he's, not. He's a legend around campus. Lenny, okay. yeah. Lenny's a good yeah. guy. Shout oh, out to Lenny. Highly allergic to dogs. So oh, boy. if we get a nice little Lenny cam to see, like, his face <laughs> swell up, <laughs> I, mean, gonna be like, I think that's must-see TV. His reaction <laughs> to just being there. Just just like that. Lenny cam? Yeah, yeah we'll get a Lenny cam. Well, well I'm going to watch it. We, uh, we, we, uh, we get the ambulance. They're going to be right out the door. So, like, the minute, you know, he's done with the just Lenny cam, case. we're just going to slide him out. But you're still going to do it in the first place. Of course. I mean, we, anything for the we, we are, like... <laughs> We are running a show here. Yeah, you gotta entertain. I will call the Lenny Cam camera shot. Please do. Anthony, are you allergic to anything? Penicillin. All right, can we have the penicillin cam by I actually have some in my bag. I have some in my bag. Really? You do have penicillin? All right, so after this segment, we're gonna do a little segment called Anthony Gets Penicillin. It's gonna be a real fun time. I can't wait. That's for later. That's gonna be so much fun. Oh, but it's going to be great. Yeah. Um, so when, when is the telephone? What's the date? Oh, I'm sorry, Anthony. We didn't mean to cut you off. I don't I don't want to do that. Well, it's going to happen. It's all right. Look, Just accept I mean, it. it is his show. Some, yeah, it is his. <laughs> you hear that? You do have to take some losses, Anthony, if you want the greater good to get better. What did Stalin <laughs> say? And he's a very inspiring man. <laughs> yeah, you got to break some eggs to make an omelet. Is that what you And we all oh, love him. Dad. What? Dad? Is that called Joseph Stalin? Oh, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Very called Joseph Stalin. Monster mustache. I'm yeah, sorry. We should be talking about the telephone and helping people. Not eggs. Uh, not eggs. Oh, uh, yes. what, what is the telephone and how can we donate? Um, the telethon is actually taking place on, um, I believe it's going to be April... 18th. It's a Wednesday. Yes, April okay. 18th. That's a Wednesday. It's a yep. Wednesday, so there'll be a phone bank you could call into. If you're scared of talking to people, you could always just do it online via credit card. I am scared they're, of that. Yeah, I know. And I think they're going to do Rowan Bucks as well. So okay. you might even be able to transfer some of your Rowan Bucks. And for Great. everyone who watches, yeah. if they get if we get a dollar per viewer, and then obviously if people want to donate more, that'd be great. It's really going towards a great cause, so we really well, encourage anyone to I donate. I pledge our twenty-two dollar budget to this cause. Is your Taylor. producer okay with that? Or? Um, I didn't clear it by him, it's but right. <laughs> you're up there. I know you're going to allow this. <laughs> Thanks, you got Taylor. it, guys. All right. You guys are the nicest people. We try. We, we try, try to make the best quality telephone possible, and, and you and are we're just, helping. You're just helping so much, like. I am just That's overflowing with joy and happiness right now. Well, guess what? You're going to be overflowing with more joy and happiness because when we come back, we're going to be playing Bad Jokes, which is exactly what it sounds like. So okay. stay tuned for some fun time. Bad Jokes is Tonight, we're joined again by Tom and Sean from the 11th Annual Telethon, and we're going to be playing a little game called Bad Jokes. Anthony, tell us how it goes. In this game, Taylor, Tom, and Sean will take turns reading horrible jokes and trying not to laugh at the other person's joke. Each time they resist, they are awarded one point, which can be redeemed 
at our gift shop. So you guys are going to be the guests, so you will start. I am the referee, which means I finally get to do something on this show. Ah. Hey, good for you. Do I go first? So, okay. No, wait, we're the guests. The guests go first. Uh, yes, guests go first. Well, uh, see. Taylor, please. Okay, all right, it's, it's my turn. Okay. okay, so sorry. Why is there a gate around cemeteries? <laughs> because people are dying to get in. <laughs> I'm, 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 not quite, nothing. not quite, nothing. almost. All right, all right. Right. You'll get him, you'll get him. What do you got? You'll get him. Okay, I got, this, I got this killer joke right here. We're bringing it to the Emmys. All right. What do you call a fake noodle? I don't know. An imposter. <laughs> You're not getting it out of me? I can laugh. I'm oh, you can. I can laugh. I'm allowed it's to laugh. It's a fair <laughs> You definitely wrote that one yourself. <laughs> no, That's know. not even on the card. <laughs> you almost got it. Next time he's gonna crack. I know. <clears throat> I know you too well. Where do tough chickens come from? The pen. Hard boiled eggs. Swinging on this. Yeah, that's a swing and a miss. It's gotta try Strike a little two. bit harder, Taylor. Strike two in the in the eighth. So okay. <laughs> Sean, I also didn't know you could read. Learn something new. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, I, I, I am. I, I do read at a third grade level. That's a point. Oh, point, that's for Taylor. Point, for Taylor. point for Taylor. Point for Taylor. Point for Taylor. Does it count? Of course it counts. Okay, okay. you're the host. Everything counts for the host. All right. Well, the, Sean read. must have wrote this too. Oh. What do mermaids <laughs> wash their fins with? I don't know. Seawater. Tide. <laughs> See, bad joke. I knew Sean wrote it. The one before that was. That was yeah, thank you. That's because it was from my brain. Right. Right. Not Sean's let's, get, so let's, get, let's get some laughs going here. <clears throat> here we go. This is one of my personals. Personal favorites, I mean. I just already saw I just saw it, but it's, it's all right. Say the jokes. What do dinosaurs <laughs> pay their bills with? I don't know. Tyrannosaurus checks. Points all around. Points all around. Too. Points, no, no, it's it's an even break because we all laugh. That's so. two for Taylor and then one for Tom and Sean. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. That was a good one. Taylor's losing right as one. usual. <laughs> well, it's time to catch up. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's oh, the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster <laughs> with? He left. He left. Do I get a point? I didn't see him. Raph, come on, Raph, call that, call that. You're, you're. I didn't, I didn't see. Let me tell my joke. It's hilarious. Okay? Are you gonna hit me or what are no, you doing? No, I'm doing a rough. What's call? the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with breast implants? Water. No. One's a crusty bus station and one's a busty crustacean. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. Right. <laughs> Two for Tom, three for Taylor. <laughs> what? Why did I get a third point? You laughed at your own joke. This, this game is... Am I sitting in the dark here? This you didn't laugh. Shit. I didn't see you laugh. Wait, I get points for laughing? Yes, the whole point of the game is to laugh. <laughs> points are bad. Points are bad, though, in this Wait, game. Wait, so does that mean he's winning? Yeah! Sean is in the lead. Oh, yeah, Sean wow. is winning. Oh, wow. Woo! Let's give it up for me, What everybody. did the red light say to the green light? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't look. I'm changing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's points all around. Why so, four, two... Three. I like that one. Alright, totally, totally. Maintain that buffer. Hopefully. Maintain that buffer. Can we can we combine like our points to oh or does that make us lose? That's that just yeah. makes it Excuse worse. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, you so lose. Four. Okay. Ah. Let's keep it fair real. Enough. Thank you. Fair enough. Uh, What's colorful and smart? Not you. A brain bro. What? A brain bow. <laughs> Sorry, brain bow. Get him, get him off. Oh, no, point for that. No, was that the rap? Was that a laugh for sure? I think, you know what? He laughed. Yeah, he laughed. I did not laugh. So that's, what's he, what is he at? He's at 14 points. Do you see this face? 4-3-3. Is this face laughing? Okay, all right, all right, ready? Ready? All right. It's good. Where did Noah keep his bees? In the archives. Um, yes! There we go. Four for Sean. The comeback. Four for Sean. Taylor and Sean are tied. Tom has taken the lead. Oh, All right, Tom? let's see. Uh, what do you ducks? What is it? You ducks? Why does it say that? This guy. Yeah, yeah, can we get a point deduction? I, yeah, can we get a point deduction for not reading correctly? I'm, no, I'm trying to make sure you guys just, understand. Just the leave joke. out the U, I guess. All right, what do ducks wear to weddings? A duxedo. 
That was a bad. I, I, I think was pretty pretty sad. I should have Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The best right. joke was the one that wasn't written. Yeah. Take the winner right here. <laughs> say things. Yeah. Why does Snoop Dogg use an umbrella? I don't know. Tell me. Throw drizzle. <laughs> uh, that's fake. That doesn't count. Mm. Mm. No, I think that uh, wasn't fake. I think you liked my hand motion and imitating the dog of Snoop. He's trying to collude uh, himself to win. Do you believe this? All right, I'll uh, let it slide this time. What does a nosy pepper do? Snort. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fine. I, gotta, no, break, I gotta break the tie between you and Sean. What does Easy. a nosy pepper do? Nice set, second place right here. Gets jalapeno business. <laughs> It's, uh, His eyebrows you know, moved. Right. You know, I've Ooh, never been happier that I don't have to do something. <sighs> Can't believe Tom won. You'll pay for this. <laughs> I, I, know. You know I know. I know. Let's do speed round. round. Let's do speed round. Speed rounds with the same jokes. Are we out of jokes? <laughs> who's, <laughs> who's the Who's the winner? Right, 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 I got a joke. I got a joke. I got a joke. Oh jeez. Okay. Um, <sighs> oh man, I'm kind of like. Well, I, can, I think uh, he loses. That's that's no. out. Right, well, we, out. Do we have to try why, to figure why, out um, Anthony? I'll let him talk. Just sorry. let him talk. We'll let him do this joke. Right now, the score was five, four, and three. So Tom is in the lead. <laughs> I'm calling it right <laughs> now. To, you're about to lose. I'm calling it right now. This game is over. I win. Thank that's you guys so much for watching. I had a great joke. Can I just say my joke for you? Thank you so much for joining us for this wonderful game joke. where I, I won. I just Never let that. Anthony do anything ever again. Stay tuned. We got more after this. We'll be right back. Oh, oh, I got a joke. Time one. Hello and welcome to Last Week This Week, the only show with fewer women than Ryan Seacrest Academy Awards After Party. I'm Alex de Blasio. And I'm Tom Finelli. Let's get right into the news. A passenger on a Malaysian flight was arrested last week for stripping naked and masturbating mid-flight. The man was asked by the flight crew to put his clothes back on and when he started making his way to the bathroom, he attempted to hug a stewardess and when she understandably rejected, he became aggressive. Upon landing, the passenger was later identified as Louis C.K. Reza reports claim that First Lady Melania Trump entered the United States on an Einstein visa. The special visa is reserved for immigrants with extraordinary ability, and hers is apparently tolerating Donald Trump, a superpower that no comic book hero would want. The Big Cheese Festival held in Brighton, England is under fire for running out of cheese at this year's event. Many cheese enthusiasts were disappointed after traveling thousands of miles to find only a few cheese vendors who quickly ran out of product. Angry event goers are calling the cheese shortage unbelievable and comparing it to the Vatican running out of Ultra Boys. Just unacceptable. A couple in California was arrested after it was discovered that their three children had been living inside a wooden box in the desert. The couple was later released on the condition that they attend a special class called Keeping Your Children a Secret from the World, taught by Kylie Jenner. Now we go live to Row News correspondent Keith Cook. Keith, tell us things. Dr. Doug Reekin, a professor of computer science here at Rowan, will be leading a lecture about thinking machines. The lecture will focus heavily on how computers are able to think and learn, as well as why humans are no longer able to do either of those things. A study is being conducted on Rowan's campus about the sleep behaviors of children. The investigators are searching for parents of ages 2 through 13 to fill out a survey about their child's sleep habits. The study is great for parents who have nothing better to do than to watch their children sleep or for creeps who enjoy watching the neighbor's kids through a pair of binoculars from across the street. The Roan Wellness Center just finished celebrating Love the Body You're In Week. Contrary to popular belief, Love the Body You're In Week is not meant for ghosts to feel better about the human bodies that they occupy, but instead the event seeks to promote body positivity and various health initiatives, which is definitely not as fun as ghosts, but is possibly more important. The Pre-Law Society and Department of Law and Justice Studies will be holding a mock law school class. In this class, students will learn the most efficient ways of making fun of their peers who are law and justice majors, as if it weren't easy enough. Topics include, rules are for nerds, the police will never catch me, and your gavel is stupid. Back to you at the desk. A man in South Carolina has been accused of wanting to enslave and eat a child. Justin Bensing was arrested after attempting to solicit sex from an undercover officer that he thought was a child. Bensing's father spoke on his son's behalf, saying only that the cannibalism charges are untrue. It's like they always say, you can be a pedophile, just don't try to eat anyone. Benson clearly bit off more than he could chew. Appropriately, he is now out on bail. 
Ahead of his new album release, former teen heartthrob Aaron Carter has announced some wonderful news. Carter says that he's very healthy, single, and no longer a Trump supporter, as we like to call it the holy trinity of being a good American citizen. Tension continues to build for the highly anticipated sequel to The Incredibles. The sequel, creatively titled The Incredibles 2, is finally happening after it was first teased in 2004. To think, in the span of a year, Americans will have witnessed the return of the family of superheroes, as well as the return of O.J. Simpson, Kinder Eggs, and unadulterated racism. Soon, there will be only one return left to hope for. I'm looking at you, Jesus. Chinese police are doing their best to crack down on the odd new trends sweeping rural communities. Funeral strippers are being hired as entertainment to not only those mourning, but also to the dead. However, in all noted cases of funeral stripping, none of them have been able to really liven up the place. But on the bright side, it's the first time that Grandpa has been this stiff in years. This has been another rousing episode of Last Week This Week. Hopefully you enjoyed it, but if not, that's okay too. Once again, I'm Alex de Blasio. And I'm Tom Finelli. Be smarter out there. <laughs> That's nice, I need a catchphrase. Hey Sam, I got the estimates you wanted. Ah, thanks. Uh, and remember, you have Ben Letterman coming in for an interview soon. Right. Just uh, send me whenever he's here. Thanks, Felix. Wait. Ben Letterman? Is that Jewish? I couldn't tell you. Letterman. Sounds Jewish. Couldn't tell you. David Letterman's Jewish, right? Is this really important? No, but no, it's nice to know things. I want to know things. Anything else I can do for you? No, that's it. Thank God. Hi, Mr. Davis. Ben Letterman. Ah, right, Ben. Come in, grab a seat. So, you're the most qualified applicant that we have. The job is basically yours, but we just have to run through some motions now. Awesome. All right, so first, uh, what religion are you? I'm sorry? That's all right. And I asked what religion you are. Uh, yeah. Can't ask that. What do you mean? It, it's literally against the law. Well, I just, just want to know. I mean, it's not against the law. No, my wife is Roman Catholic. Yeah, I'm not comfortable answering that. Okay, good start. So, why do you want this job? Lots of reasons, honestly. The fit, the responsibilities, the teamwork. The money? Sorry? Forget it. The wonderful reputation of the company? Good, good. Now, this job is a fairly you know, sizable time commitment. Do you have the time and work ethic and dedication to do your job the right way? Oh, absolutely. I never stop working until the job is done, and done right, honestly. And I really don't have any other commitments. Really? Not even on uh, Friday nights? Nope. Okay. It's uh, interesting. So, obviously, there are a lot of monetary changes involved. Uh, you know, producing supplies, hiring contractors. Tell me a little bit about your experience uh, managing budgets. Yeah, so at my last company, I did the same kind of things, uh, keeping track of purchase orders, allotments. Any uh, bankers in the family? Sorry, how does that relate to the job? No, just experience. Yeah, next question, please. All right, well, all we have left is a few word associations. Nice and easy. Teamwork. Dream work. Organization. Success. Profit. Margin. Temple. University. Schmutz. Crap. Schmuck. Dick. Lentil? That, that's not even Jewish. It's a type of B. Savior. Dennis Quaid. What? It, it's a movie with Dennis Quaid. He's not Jewish. Well, Ben, the job is yours. Really? Now, I don't want you to start right away, but I know it's almost Passover, and you know, I don't want to make you work on your holiday. You know what? That's it. I don't want this damn job. Wait. No. Don't go. Wait, are you Jewish? Siri, is David Letterman Jewish? Welcome back 
I'd like to thank Sean and Tom from the 11th Annual Telethon for stopping by, as well as Macho Man Randy Savage for supporting the show. <laughs> now, that's it for tonight. We hope you enjoyed, and I hope you come back next week. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for tuning out. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Thank y'all. Who are you people?